Hi there, this is Mary Trent, your OLLI Introduction to Online Learning Instructor, and I thought I would give you a quick brief overview of this past week's assignments and look at next week's. I'll also give you some tips and tricks. Okay, so this week you were to go through and read these lessons and um, take a look at the overview of the course and OLLI and all that kind of stuff. There's announcements here. Also pay attention to the latest news here. I'll post stuff there. Questions and troubleshooting, that's there for you. If you have any questions, you can help each other troubleshoot some things. And then it's topic one. And as you go through, you're going to look at a Moodle overview. You're going to also watch these tutorials and get used to getting around Moodle. And then it comes to the scavenger hunt, which I know has caused some issues. And so I'm going to try and make that a little bit easier. Uh, Screener is um, an online screen capture uh, software, but there are others, and I know some of you are having troubles getting Screener to work because you do have to log in with a Google, a Twitter, or a Facebook account in order to publish your Screener. And the other way you can go around and do that is I recommend that you use Jing. And Jing is from TechSmith, and here's the web address right here, techsmith.com slash Jing HTML. Also, if you just do a Google search of Jing, this will come up, but just make sure it says TechSmith. Um, this is a free download, and um, it doesn't take long to download. It works pretty slick. In fact, I'm going to show you when you have it downloaded, it's going to put up here a small little um, sunshine, if you will, at the top of your screen or your side of your screen. And then you can click the capture area, and um, then it's going to allow you to do a screencast. I can click videotape here and then it's recording it says mic is on three two one and now I'm recording and I'm moving my mouse around and that's my recording I can click stop when I'm finished and then um, it displays this square here this is the video I want then you want to click save and save it to your documents desktop whatever you'd like to do and then just go ahead and then um, attach that in an email to me and send it that way um, you'll find that this is probably a little bit easier if you're having problems with screener. Okay, um, back to our course then. Um, once you get done with your um, your scavenger hunt, you can either submit it here as I said or email me. Um, then you have some more um, learning the online foundations and going through these lessons and then you have an introductory forum um, right here and you need to respond to at least two other participants uh, posts besides your own of course updating your profile is another thing you need to do make sure you add a picture if you'd rather not have a picture of yourself just any picture will be fine don't worry about your uh, information uh, everything is private in here um, it's not searchable and then the small group discussion primer I'm going to take a look at that here with you. You notice that I've already started a discussion for each one of these. This is what you click on and reply to. Um, you need to um, do this in small groups, which you have. I've put you all in groups. There's four, uh, four groups, and if someone in your group hasn't got in there yet, obviously you can't reply to them, and I'll keep that in mind when I'm grading and such. Um, but you should have posted here at least once by Saturday and then two replies to others okay in your group all right back then to our Moodle let me go back here sorry scroll down here a little bit okay so that's your small group discussion so that's all in topic one here so you have the lesson introduction forum um, the update and then the small group discussion okay all right We'll go back here. So that sort of finishes up your first week of assignments. Now second week, the second week, topic two, this week coming up starting Tuesday, again you're going to do some introduction to online learning, um, academic integrity, and there's an enrichment activity as well too that you can look at. Then here is an assignment, your first assignment is your reading readiness. Um, it's going to see how, how ready you are for online learning. And then here in the group work, this is a wiki, a group work, so you work with your group again to complete this. Um, when you click edit, this is where you would type in um, all of your um, comparisons between online and versus face-to-face, -face, pros, cons, benefits, and both sides. 
Also in comments is where that your group can also comment um, on the information that's already in the wiki. And so I'll be looking at both of those places to grade you. I'm looking for collaboration. I'm looking for your contribution either in the comments or under the edit um, portion of that. Okay. So that is that one. And again, you're kind of relying on people in your group a little bit. So it's real important that your group gets in there and works together and um, we're not waiting for each other. There's another forum discussion here on the literary, literature review. There are um, eight articles here, and as you can see, I started those as well. You reply back to these. Um, you need to have a, um, you need to read any three of the following and reply back to them and uh, give us your input and thoughts on those, okay? All right, I don't believe you need to reply back to anybody on those. No, you do not, so um, that's just picking three articles and responding. Um, also on here is the information for the online vocabulary words and adding, doing our own uh, glossary. When you click on the online, online vocabulary words, it takes you to, again, it's sort of like a collaborative wiki. Um, and I will be looking at these by the author, um, but here's one entry that someone put for Digo. Um, I would probably add a m little bit more to this definition than what's there, because Digo is quite a bit more. It's actually a social bookmarking site. Um, that you can share your links and that stuff with. So make sure you have a complete definition um, in here, not just not necessarily just your point of view, but maybe um, a professional uh, definition as well of it would be great. Um, so there's that as that assignment as well that you need to do for week two. And then again, there's another enrichment and staying connected activity here for you as well. Um, I, last night we did our first virtual classroom and from 7 to 8 p.m. and it worked very well. There's a couple little uh, bugs that I'm working out, but I hope to see more of you next Sunday. Five folks showed up last night and it was awesome. And uh, that's another way I can hopefully answer your questions and, and that sort of thing. So again, if you have any questions or having troubles with Screener, please contact me via email and I can walk you through those. Thanks very much. Have a good day.